I'm Alan Rios from Scottsdale, Arizona, representing Art of Inspiration. I do fused glass. Um, I have a unique um, way of working with glass. And with the sheet of glass, I cut the individual sizes down to the size, the big square, the littler, the, the tapers. And then I use ground glass, um, ground to various consistencies, um, frits, which are thicker. I would describe this as a salt-like consistency, so it would be more like a sand painting to a finely ground powder, which would be like a flower. So they're then layered and placed in a kiln at a temperature of about 1450 degrees um, till they become another layer of glass. I then I take them, I grind them, I drill the holes, and then I apply the gold um, which is okay. a luster uh, that's brushed on and fired once again. So, so that's not paint. It's not paint on your glass. It's no paint. It's all glass materials. Okay. And uh, when did you start doing these? I started the sun catchers about 2003. Mm -hmm. um, I started fusing glass in 2002. Uh, I was in Seattle, Washington, and I wanted to see some color, and I wanted to see the sun. And it was <laughs> January, so I created my own sun. <laughs> <laughs> and you also do night lights? Yes. yes. Okay. The night lights came out of the idea for the sun catchers. Mm -hmm. People would comment how pretty they were with the sun coming through, and I mm -hmm. thought, why not make my own sun? So okay. I kneeled. Um, Raising the glass up to a temperature slowly and then cooling it slowly um, relieves stress and supports hardening of the glass. It's not tempered per se, that's another, but, but the annealing um, hardens the glass and bring, being stress free, um, they're much more resilient to impact. Mm -hmm. And so that's why they can fall and not shatter. Yes. 